when the Nine Deputy, uh, uh, Sister Razia, uh, we went to submit our petition and they were expecting us. Unfortunately, they closed the ambassador wasn't there, but he was aware that we are coming and he had a notice and uh, arrived there that they are expecting, they were expecting us. So we met with uh, Mr. Matthew Ray, the regional security officer, so he was expecting us. So they accepted our petition. So uh, the contents of the petition, I send you the soft copy, but uh, part of the, the petition, I don't know if it is possible for you so that I can read it for you, the, the just highlight. Uh, this, uh, our petition was to the, uh, to the ambassador, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the ambassador of the United States of America in Harare. The, this petition was from the people of Zimbabwe uh, to the United Nations, uh, sorry, to the United States. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, sorry, let me, I'm not feeling well. Let me read for you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I can't. But it's... The, 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 the highlights what we need to do in the media. We, the friends of Palestine, we fully condemn and denounce Israel in discriminate military bombing and attacks on Palestinian civilians and civilian areas, including hospitals, schools, residential buildings in Gaza, and uh, attempted ethnic cleansing and forced displacement of Palestinians which are against international and humanitarian law. Uh, we support for an immediate and unconditional ceasefire by Israel and allow a humanitarian assistance to, to enter Gaza and ensure the, res, the resumption of vital supplies, including water, gas, fuel, electricity, and basic supplies, and guarantees the safety of international press and relief agencies. Uh, to hold Israel accountable for its violations of international law including collective punishment against civilians, blocking humanitarian aid, forced displacement, the bombing of, ci of civilian facilities, which are schools, hospitals, and health clinics, the use of white phosphorus and bombing citizens, a fled to forsake it as well as the threat to his atomic bomb in Gaza. Uh, to stop with immediate effect the export and supply of military equipment by the U.S. government, which is being used by the Israeli occupation army to commit war crimes against the Palestinian people and the expense of the American taxpayers, this makes America complicit in this genocide. Stop the double standards regarding the implementation of the international law and force Israel to abide by international and held accountable for its crimes against humanity. Demanded the U.S. government to apply pressure on the Israeli government to end its genocide and fight a lasting solution that prolonged the occupation of the Palestinian land as a whole and comply with the United Nations resolution to enable the Palestinian people to exercise their national rights, including the right to retain self-determination and, to, to, and to the independent statehood of their national soul with Jerusalem as its capital. The U.S. and the member of the United Nations Security Council and the major ally of Israel has a responsibility for compensation and restitution for the Palestinian uh, people for the destruction inflicted on the Palestinian people by this indiscriminate bombing and killings in Gaza and West Bank. We emphasize that there is no military solution to this conflict expect, except by recognizing the uh, alienable rights of Palestinian people to, to self-determination the right to retain and to independence of their state on their national soil with Jerusalem as its cap capital. Uh, that was part of the petition that we handed over to the United Nations. We thank you and we can give you some copies, soft copies, uh, to those who don't have a hard copy. Okay. Cease fire now! Cease